In the vast, formless expanse that preceded time, the Earth Gaia and the sky Uranus gave birth to the Titans, beings of immense power and grandeur. Among them, Cronus emerged as the leader, his destiny intertwined with prophecy and betrayal. Fearing a foretold overthrow by his own offspring, Cronus consumed his children, an act that sowed the seeds of rebellion and shaped the fate of the cosmos. The Titans, each embodying elemental forces, held sway over the universe, their reign marked by the raw, untamed nature of the world they governed. However, the cycle of power and prophecy is relentless. Rhea, Cronus's consort, secreted away their youngest, Zeus, ensuring his survival. Raised in secret, Zeus matured with a singular purpose, to reclaim the birthright stolen by his father. This brewing conflict culminated in the Titanomachy, a titanic struggle that echoed through the heavens and the earth. The war, fraught with alliances and betrayals, eventually saw the victory of Zeus and his siblings, heralding the end of the Titans' era and the rise of a new divine order. With the defeat of the Titans, the new gods imprisoned many of their predecessors in Tartarus, a dark abyss deep within the earth. Yet, the Titans' legacy endured, their essences giving rise to new myths, monsters and challenges for the Olympians. This transition marked not just a shift in power, but a transformation in the divine narrative, from the primordial and elemental to the complex and interpersonal dynamics of the Olympian gods. The aftermath of the Titanomachy left the universe in need of order and governance. Zeus, Poseidon and Hades, the triumvirate of power among the new gods, divided the cosmos through a draw. Zeus ascended as the king of gods, his dominion the vast skies and Olympus itself, where he presided over divine matters and dispensed justice. His reign brought a semblance of order to the chaotic aftermath, establishing laws and edicts that shaped the interactions between gods and mortals. Poseidon, with his trident, took command of all seas and bodies of water. His kingdom was as temperamental as he was, with calm seas reflecting his pleasure and tempests his wrath. Beyond his aquatic realm, Poseidon was also the god of earthquakes and horses, symbolizing his connection with both the fluid and solid aspects of the world. His contributions to human civilization were marked by gifts such as the horse, though his rivalry with other gods often led to conflicts that entwined mortals and gods alike. Hades, often mischaracterized by his dominion over the dead, ruled the underworld with a stern but fair hand. His realm was not just a place of punishment, but also of rest for the souls of the departed. Hades seldom left his shadowy kingdom, his presence in the divine assemblies on Olympus rare and marked by necessity. His abduction and marriage to Persephone linked the underworld to the cycle of seasons, a tale of love, loss, and the eternal balance between light and darkness. The legacy of the Olympian rulers was further solidified through their offspring, a pantheon of gods, goddesses, and heroes who played pivotal roles in the fabric of the cosmos and human history. Zeus, in his myriad liaisons, fathered a host of divine and mortal children. Athena sprang forth from his head, fully armoured, embodying wisdom and strategic warfare. Apollo and Artemis, twins born of Zeus and Leto, illuminated the world with the sun and the moon, guardians of music, poetry and the hunt. Poseidon's progeny were as varied as the realms he commanded. Among them, Triton, with the body of a human and the tail of a fish, echoed his father's sovereignty over the seas. Theseus, a mortal hero fathered by Poseidon, embodied the complexities of godly intervention in human affairs, his journey through the labyrinth a testament to the intertwining fates of gods and men. Poseidon's influence extended beyond the liquid realms, shaping the earth and its inhabitants in profound ways. Hades, though his offspring were fewer, played a crucial role in the divine drama through his union with Persephone. Their story, a cornerstone of Greek mythology, illustrates the interplay between life and death, growth and decay. The few heroes attributed to Hades demonstrate the depth of his influence, impacting not just the afterlife, but the moral and ethical codes of the living. His lineage, though not as extensive as his brother's, was integral to the balance of the natural and supernatural worlds. Beyond the towering figures of Zeus, Poseidon and Hades, the Greek pantheon boasted a multitude of lesser-known yet equally important deities and demigods. Dionysus, the god of wine, festivity and ecstasy, traversed the boundary between joy and chaos, 
his cult reflecting the dual nature of his domain. Hermes, the fleet-footed messenger of the gods, facilitated communication across divine and mortal realms, his roles encompassing everything from guiding souls to the underworld to serving as the patron of travelers and thieves. Hephaestus, the god of fire and forge, despite his physical imperfections, was revered for his unparalleled craftsmanship, his creations playing pivotal roles in the quests of heroes and the affairs of gods. Hestia, embodying the warmth and sanctity of the hearth, presided over the domestic sphere, her presence a constant in the daily lives of mortals. These deities, along with countless others, enriched the tapestry of Greek mythology, their stories and attributes reflecting the breadth and complexity of human experience. Demigods, the offspring of gods and mortals, bridged the world of Olympus and Earth their lives and quests highlighting the virtues and vices inherent in both divine and human natures. Heroes like Heracles, Perseus and Achilles, each bearing the blood of gods yet bound to the mortal coil, undertook epic quests that challenged the might of monsters, the tyranny of kings and the caprices of fate. Their stories, a testament to the interwoven destinies of gods and men, continue to inspire and instruct, a mirror to the enduring human condition. The influence of the Olympian gods and their kin extends far beyond the ancient temples and sacred groves of antiquity. Their myths have permeated every facet of human culture, from literature and art to philosophy and psychology, shaping our understanding of the world and ourselves. The tales of divine machinations, heroic quests and tragic fates explore the depths of human emotion, the complexity of ethical dilemmas and the eternal quest for knowledge and justice. The enduring legacy of these divine narratives lies not in their historical veracity, but in their capacity to convey universal truths through the guise of myth. They serve as a bridge to the past, a reflection of our present and a beacon for the future reminding us of the virtues of wisdom, courage and compassion in the face of adversity. As we delve into the stories of Zeus, Poseidon, Hades and the myriad gods and heroes of Olympus, we are reminded of the unbreakable bond between the divine and the mortal, the natural and the supernatural that shapes the tapestry of human existence. In conclusion, gods of Olympus, the Greek pantheon unveiled, invites you to journey through the annals of mythology to explore the origins of the cosmos, the rise and fall of titans and gods, and the enduring legacy of these ancient tales in our modern world. As we stand on the shoulders of giants, gazing into the depths of the past, may we find the wisdom to navigate our present and shape our future with the courage, dignity and grace of the gods who once ruled the heavens and the earth. Join us on Chronicles and Legends as we continue to explore the rich tapestry of mythology and history that has shaped civilizations. Like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Which stories of gods, heroes or titans have inspired you? What lessons can we draw from their tales for our lives today? Stay tuned for more episodes where we unveil the mysteries of the past, bringing the wisdom of the ancients into the light of the present. Until next time, may the legacy of Olympus guide your journey through the stars.